Well, the cold weather doesn't make things... It's not actually not that cold. Don't make things very... Uh, go very well. Well, I'm going to take this tractor. He's going to get some doctoring done. So, i got to take the loader off this tractor. And that's the other thing. This thing's leaking all so much oil over here. I think I'll pressure wash it before I take it in. And uh, our truck is going to be needing to stay outside, which is okay. I want to get that tractor running. Had it plugged in. Earlier today, it should start. Didn't miss a skip out of that thing. All right. That's where the loader is going. So we're gonna take the loader off the tractor. Off that tractor, we're gonna wash it a little bit. We'll park it in and then that one will stay there. Then we'll put the loader in that one, and this thing will he could spend some time in the shop. Where it's warm in here. And I was trying to get the loader on the tractor, but I can't do it because... I guess the, I can't get my uh, hydraulic plug-ins in. I don't want to leave the loader out here because that's another thing that's going to be on my list that I don't want to do. So what's happening here is I can't get this plugged in. Oh, I lied. Well, one out of three, that's 25, one out of four, that's 25%. So things are just so stiff over here. Good night. I'm gonna get some hot water. This well, the cold weather doesn't make things it's not actually not that cold. Don't make things very, uh, go very well. Anyways, took the loader off the uh, 986, the tractor that I'm gonna rebuild that engine. I wanna put it on this tractor. But what's happening here is I'm having difficulty plugging everything in. I was gonna say, uh, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna pour some hot water job here it doesn't want to go in Success! Now we're 50% done. Two more to go. That goes a lot easier. Ah, success! Now, one more. Let's see, if we get the last quarter in. I think we did it. This should be tightened up. I don't have leaking oil in there. I can do that in the shop. That's all I need to do is put the loader on this tractor and then we're set up and then we'll the next job will be I'm gonna park this in, but I'm gonna take the shields off now. And we're gonna wash that up so it's washed up. But uh, the battery in this, my camera doesn't last very long. So anyways, let's I'll put you guys here where it's nice and warm. I took the panels off the tractor, washed it, washed this one up. So we're gonna go and uh, park this. Anyway, we'll go park this tractor. We'll park it back over here. That's where it's gonna stay here for a while. Got the 986 in it, both 986s. This is the one that was sitting outside for a while. This one's gonna kind of thaw out a bit and 
This one, we're gonna rebuild the motor on it. This is actually still a very good tractor. I think we got about just over 9,000 hours on it. I don't know if this motor's ever been touched. So, uh, the first bit of advice that I did get, uh, I need to go and take the oil pan out and uh, check the number on the bearings so that uh, they can order the right bearings. Anyways, just another day on the farm. Six this morning, I'm gonna take the oil pan off. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I need to rebuild the engine in this tractor. So first thing I was told, take the oil pan off. Actually from a mechanic. I did take some of the bolts out. I really had a struggle to uh, take some of the bolts out that were on here. I took five of them out. I went underneath there, I don't know if you could see it, but there's four, five bolts. I always have a tendency, if I'm gonna do something, go for the hardest ones to take off. It took me a while to take them off. What I used, quarter inch drive, I used a swivel. I was able to loosen it up as far as I can go, but then it started hitting the frame. And uh, then I checked the screw uh, back up, but the, th the bolts were loose, so I was able to take them off by hand. So those five were a challenge to take off. So I'm gonna take the rest off now. Well, I got the oil pan out, wasn't that bad. I'm kind of looking at the oil pan, it looks fairly clean in here. See underneath here. So this is the bottom end of the 986s. So what I need to do here is, so I gotta take off this off. That's part of my main bearing. Okay, these are my main bearings. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one bearing I might leave right, right at the front. I don't think I can get at it very good. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the main bearings here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I took uh, all the piping off. I got a few hoses here I want to take off yet. And I'll actually want to clean all this up here. So I know the head has got to come off. I uh, have to remove some of these hoses, mark them. What I've also been doing, taking all the uh, lines here and uh, uh, marking them as well, where everything goes, gets hooked up. So we're getting there, little by little. Just gonna go for some lunch and I'm gonna feed the cattle. And then if I have some time, I'll get back at this again. have to feed them until today's Wednesday Friday morning so I've been feeding every day and a half right now working really good so an update of the tractor I went and washed everything down I put the uh, oil pan back on and uh, it looks like I don't have to take the motor out uh, did get some advice from a mechanic he told me he says if your bearings are pretty good he says if that one's too hard to get don't worry about it so anyways and he says i don't have to pull the engine up which is really really good learning just fed the cattle had the old 986 the loader works really good the tractor works really good I even push some snow with it as well uh, this door doesn't close very good i have to straighten it out there is uh i bent it over there not sure how i'm gonna fix that
I'm making another table. I got 45 gallon drums, barrel underneath. I got a piece of old plywood and I'm putting some cardboard over top of it so that uh, I kind of keep everything clean. This plywood isn't the best. Doesn't quite fit, eh? What are you doing there? You wrecking some more wood? I'm gonna drain the antifreeze. We'll just let that drain in here. We're gonna slowly start taking some of this part away. I think I'll take these hoses just to get them out. So I did wash this thing up yesterday and took the pressure washer, washed it all up. What I'm doing here is labeling them. I just took uh, duct tape and put the duct tape on it. A little bit of grease on there, so I thought let's, uh, while I'm turning it, try to keep everything as clean as possible. We're gonna take this valve cover off. Now, I'm wondering, we shouldn't be replacing injectors as well in here. Got it apart. All the apparatus is off it already. We're gonna probably do that. The tack, and uh, it might be in the way. I think we'll just take it off. And up in the front here, you, uh, let's unscrew this. that I gotta take a lot more stuff out of here. I gotta take all these lines off. It should be pretty straightforward. Okay, well I got the injection lines off. Almost off. So I lied. So what we'll do is we'll take this out and I'll put this over here. So I made myself a table, put cardboard underneath it. Just got 45 gallon drums underneath it. And I, well, put cardboard. I put a plywood and then cardboard on it. Looks like I need to take this hose off to return there. So we'll take that off. Just trying to clear everything that's away here from the block. Uh, thermostat's up over there. So I'll, looks like I'm going to have to take that off. I don't know if I need to take the injectors off. Anyways, stay tuned. I need a helper. Some help here. So this should just come up with all the blocks. Pull this out, pull it up, and I'm going to put it over here. Got to fit like that. Keep the bolts where they are. I got to take all these rods out. What do now is I'm gonna put all of these rods, but I'm gonna drill holes into this piece of plywood, piece of uh, cardboard here. Okay, the rods out. So I've got them labeled here. They're all the same length, I think. Anyways. They're looking good. So what I will do now is I will start taking, unbolting the head off. I'm 
got all the bolts off. I think what I'm going to do now is, uh, it looks like there's threads in here where I could put a bolt in and uh, another one over there. And I'm going to lift this block up because I don't think this block is very light. So if we put a, I don't know, I need about a half inch there. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chain over there and I got a hoist and we'll hoist this thing out. Well, the head is off. <sighs> oh, I gotta still drain some more uh, antifreeze out of here. Uh, there is, that does not look right. That looks like a little bit of shavings in there. So I know that we're leaking oil really bad here on the side. Is it this side? I think it was this side here. So anyways, we, So this is what the pistons look like, eh? Well, that worked out pretty good. Well, I got the head off. I might have to take the intake van manifold off and the exhaust manifold. So, uh, and since it's off, I might even put a, probably put new injectors in. I haven't put new injectors into this tractor at all. I've uh, put over 6,500 hours on that already. I bought it with uh, just under 3,000 hours, so it's uh, up to 9,600 already. So anyways, the uh, top end is out. I gotta get the uh, uh, top end uh, machined. Yeah, I think we'll take this out, but I think I'm done for today. I've had a, it's been a long day. A little bit more than I expected. I just might put some of the tools away. Cover everything up so we don't get any dirt in here. And uh, then the pistons come out. Oh, it looks pretty darn good, this thing. No turning back now. Hey, Willie, no turning back now. I hope you guys aren't chasing the calves. That wouldn't be very nice. No. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you got any value out of the video, uh, like, subscribe, comment if there's something there that I can do or improve. Uh, this is our, this is the main tractor on the farm and uh, yeah. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Hi Willie. How are you doing? Hey Pupi.